So, it's Barb. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, supposedly YouTube will let you know, but um, I'm going to have a lot of truthful, no-nonsense kind of stuff. Comment, let me know what you agree with, what you don't agree with, some of your parenting things that work for you, and just give nice, constructive feedback, no negativity, and just be positive give you all some support and let you know there are other people out there struggling right along with you so why do you want to watch me because i am no nonsense i'm truthful and ask me and i'll tell you but here's five little mm, little things that i just thought i'd pass along to help you all um, when you're having issues with your child at school or at home, you can't go in with the idea that it's a chore, like that you'll work it and it'll be done, boom, gone. That's not going to happen. It's a daily thing. Think of it as a circle. It is something you will be working on, well, forever. Think of it as not a job, but you know, just life, and it will make you not think of it as a chore and just a daily thing that we that needs to, you know, go on. And it's really easy to get frustrated if you don't see results right then. But parenting, it's not easy. Everybody knows that. But just think of it as not having an end, but getting better with time. But um, another thing is don't be sarcastic with your kid. Uh, it's If you say, just go ahead and dump that bottle of paint out. Don't be surprised when they do dump the bottle of paint out. They... Uh, they do what you say to do. And I know you're like, oh, God, they know not to do that. But if you pay attention, you'll see that when you're sarcastic, your child's not only sarcastic, but, you know, when they're young, they don't pick up on the sarcasm. They just, you know, pick up on the, oh, I'm just going to do it. But parenting is hard. I'm not perfect at all. But I've been parenting for almost 30 years. And I have realized that your kids look up to you and they mimic your attitude and they mimic your behavior. And I know people say that and you're like, oh, whatever. But even my kids now, I've noticed that I have to be careful. They're adults. But if I have an opinion about someone, I try to keep that to myself and let them form their own because I've noticed that they'll kind of lean toward my idea instead of, you know, getting their own idea about something. They'll kind of take my idea and form their opinion around it. And I know people say this all the time, but it is very true. You need to be consistent. You have, if you tell your child something, stick to it. It's so hard when you're busy, especially if you're a single parent and say you're cooking dinner and your child's on the PlayStation. They're not supposed to be on the PlayStation. You need to, you know, stop them and have them do what they're supposed to be doing. Um, it's rough, but trust me, you'll see results. Don't give in, you know, feel sorry because... You know, they'll know and they'll pick up on that. I've seen, you know, parents like their child get in trouble. And they feel bad because their child's sad or acting sad. And so they'll just go ahead and let them play on their tablet just for a little bit. But the, they know that and they pick up on that. And they know that they can do that and to get what they want. So just be consistent. And you will, um, you'll see results 
if you stick to what you say, no matter how hard it is, I know. Trust me, I know. But it does work. And last, but certainly not least, just some advice. If someone says, if you need me, let me know, please reach out to them. And if you need help, ask. If you have anyone in your family that would support you, don't feel like you have to do this all alone, especially if you're a single parent. It, you know, I always had the idea, I had a child that was, uh, had a chronic illness, and I had uh, four other children, and um, I wish I would have reached out for support more. She passed away when she was 21, a couple years ago, and looking back, I wish I would have reached out for support and asked people to help me when I needed it. People that had offered, but I felt like I'm the mom. This is my job. It's no one else's job. I have to do it. It's my my problem, my job. But no, you. it's okay to ask for support and it's good. And, you know, people like me, I, I would definitely help someone if they needed it. I mean, I really mean it. I, if I tell someone I'll be there, I will. But now if you backstab me or do something like that, well, then we're done. But anyways, that's another story. But parenting is the hardest but the most rewarding job. And I know you've heard that over and over. It's true. I have uh, four adult children. One, one passed away, but I have three adult children now. And I have an 11-year-old. So I have a 29, 28, 23, and Mary would have been 27, and my little girl, who's 11. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to go through the teenage stuff, but I think I'm ready. You know, huh? I'm ready to give it a whirl, I guess, because uh, I've been through it before, but yeah. So you just got to hang tight.